Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to talk about in this video is how to update your Android TV device or Google TV device to the latest operating system, which is an upgrade that brings along Android TV version 12. Version 12 has a lot of new features that people might want to get a hold of, so we're going to show you how to do it. Don't worry, it's really easy. You don't have to do anything special. You need to access your settings, which are at the top of the screen, all the way at the end. Mine is set up for me, so it says Rye, but yours will say whatever yours says. Once you're on the end, you click on where it says Settings. You just press your main enter button on there. And you'll see in the settings that pretty much everything that has to do with your experience with the device is located here. What you won't find is a button or a selection at the bottom that simply says update. That's because on Android devices and often Fire TV devices, you find that setting under about. So you go into About, press your main button, you know, usually the button in the center of the control, and there you see System Update. So all you have to do is tap the System Update, and it will automatically go in and find out, do you have a need for an update? And for some reason it stuttered a bit. For a second it thought we were up to date, but... It sees that it is in fact not up to date. So we click the blue button there and download. And the system will begin to download our update. We're going to skip a little bit of watching the little white line grow. I, I'm not vain enough to think that I'm that interesting to listen to. So as the system moves forward you will see what the next screen looks like just to give you an idea of what you should see as you go along. So right here we're just going to skip to the end of that and you're going to restart your system. Just tell it to restart. If for some reason it locks up there I suppose you can unplug the power but you should be able to automatically restart and then you get brought back to this Google loading screen. It quickly installs the system updates. We do. We are just going to skip maybe 45, 50 seconds just to get on with it. But you will see that the system loads up relatively quick. What this is doing, like I said, this is installing all of the updates. And along with it, you should get any of your apps that you have downloaded onto the system at the moment updated as well. So let it do its job. Stay out of the way. Next you get the Google TV loading screen and that's the last step before everything comes back and you can start jumping back in and working with your apps. This takes about 35 seconds to a minute. And now we're in. Got our Google TV logo and the screen begins to load. So now just to let you know, if you want to make sure, you know, well, did it update or not? You just want to go into your settings again. So we're going to slip back across the top of the page. If you're wondering why I move slowly, it's so that folks can keep up if they're not familiar with these systems. I try not to be that computer guy that flip, 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 flip. See how easy it is? So there you go. We're now in the settings and we'll go back to the about section and take a look at what it says about the system now. Now 
And as we scroll down, you'll see that you know it still recognizes that it's a Chromecast, all well and good. But see now the Android TV version is 12. Looks like everything else is straight, but if you like, you can always just make sure. And you know sometimes that's helpful. Now and then a uh, an update so big it requires more so we can just click on system update one more time just to make sure it'll check for the update and if there's anything else to do it will tell us we're up to date all right so that's it that's all you have to do just click a couple of buttons and you'll be able to access new features like parental controls and Google is updating some of the ways that it deals with the timing on HDMI, things like that. So there's a lot of under the hood stuff, but in general, it's nice to be up to date with your streaming systems because apps change over time and their needs change. So you want to do that when you can. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment if you have any other questions. Well, we base a lot of videos on what are people asking about because we try to be responsive in that way. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.